Okay, so I've been taking maca root for a month now. I had lost um, a significant amount of weight due to just loss of appetite or whatever. So I decided to start taking the maca root again. I started in the middle of the first week of November. This is now December 5th. Um, I was 140 pounds on my scale um, in November. Today I weighed myself. I have officially hit 150 pounds on my scale. So I'm going to show what it looks like. I do see a difference in the hips. My stomach is trying to come out, so I have to like, but, whew, my butt. Yes. Yes. My thighs, the jiggle. My boobs, they're not huge, however, they were completely flat, completely flat a month ago. Um, I have a little bit of fat in them. So I do, I do believe that um, they are in the process of growing. So the reason why I made this video is because I'm watching YouTube right now trying to do maca root updates and stuff like that. And everybody that's doing it is like, oh, the first week, oh, the second week. And I'm like, well, what happened after a year? And then on top of that, they have been saying, oh, I take one pill a day or two pills a day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, who annies up the pills? Like, who does more than that? So, me personally, I started off the first week with taking two pills. The second week, I went to three. The third week, I went to four. Last week, I was doing eight pills a day. Yes, I would actually get up at four o'clock in the morning and take eight maca root pills um when i did the four i started feeling the tingling in the breast so i decided to go to the eight around the fourth day of taking the eight pills a day third fourth day of taking the eight pills a day i did start feeling my breast burning a little bit more um, as a matter of fact, today when I was asleep, what woke me up was because my boobs were burning a little bit. I do have an increase in appetite because at first I was not able to eat at all. Like even me trying to eat a piece of bread, I would throw up. It was horrible. Um, my mind is back elevated. Um, cause I, like I said, I was depressed. I am more optimistic right now. Um, I have a better attitude at work. I can work with people. I can blow stuff off. I can, I can make a joke about things. Um, let's see what else. My skin is clearer. Um, hold on, let me turn on the light or come in the light. I do have this issue right here and over here. But um, what I'm planning on doing is going to do the eight pills. Um, for maybe all of December and all of January. Maybe December, January, yeah. February. No, December, January. And then February, March, April, I'm gonna take 10 pills. 
and then I'm gonna stop for May. I'll stop in May taking the pills for a month and then start back again in June, but start back slow again. Um, I have also decided that when I'm on my cycle, I will not take the pills at all. So that way it can just be um, a, a detox so my body won't get too used to it. And you know, um, I do take them every day in the morning at the same time, which is usually around four or five in the morning. Um, I also drink protein shakes um, with whole milk, even though it, oh, it tears my stomach up, but I drink protein shakes. I also eat spoonfuls of peanut butter. Um, I work at IHOP, so I like to try to eat the steak and egg meal because it's the one with the highest calorie count. Um, and I also try to, even though they do give me energy, I also try to incorporate as much rest as possible so that way I can gain weight. Um, right now, I'm still pretty small, so therefore I do not work out at all. Whatever I do, I'm just letting the fat collect so that way I can see where it's all gonna go. Looking at my family, well, thinking about when I'm pregnant, when I'm pregnant and I gain weight, my boobs do grow and my butt does grow. So I'm thinking if I can gain weight at a pregnancy rate, um, then, you know, just eating a sufficient amount and just, you know, as, as if I'm pregnant, then I can see if my boobs will still be growing with the macaroon, which they should because they get really, really big when I'm pregnant. So, I mean, you know. So, other than that, like I said, I just needed, I wanted to be different from everybody else. Um, I will do weekly weigh-ins, but I don't know if I will just do another video about Macaroon or not until... I see uh, some more results or if I'll do weekly. I'd rather do another month so that way I can let you know, hey, okay, this happened again in another month. And in another month, if I see progress, then yeah, I'll do weekly for the third month. I'll do that. So let's just say that. I'll do it for this month. Um, I'm not gonna do another report, but in January, if I see a complete difference from January, I mean from November to January, then I will do weekly so that way I can let everybody know about how my macro journey is going. Thank you. Have a great day.